Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Paper Mario. Last time, the Shy Guy Menace invaded our home turf and burned our houses and murdered our families. Or at least they might as well have. Yeah, this. I've seen some stuff in my time, but this is sick. But before we deal with that, we're actually gonna go around and do some side quests. There's a pretty short side quest run this time around. Um, we've actually already seen a lot of the things around Toad Town, so now we're gonna go to some other places. Into the tube down here. First on our list, Dry Dry Outpost. I wanna give the combination of Speedy Spin and Spin Attack a high recommendation. It's good for backtracking if you ever are between two tougher areas and going through an easy one to get to the other tougher area. It's essentially free healing because the enemies still drop coins and hearts and flowers and even items. I'm gonna be using it a lot here. I was informed by a few comments that there was a section of the desert that I never tattled it. Mario, aren't you hungry? How about thirsty? Tired? I am all of those things. <laughs> Gosh. I thought you'd have nostalgia for this desert, man. And another one. So blue, the desert sky, they ought to call it big ol' super blue sky. I think I'm delirious. It's so hot out here. I can't think straight. If there's too little rain, the cacti will dry up. Did you know that? Are you hinting that you need water? Well, too bad, you can't have any. And it's all just as well because we had to come back here anyway as Camp Colorado is now out of session. We hit this tree and it contains a letter. Goompa in Goomba Village. You know that guy. I think you're a pretty big fan of his work. I'm taking advantage of the situation. He's too delirious to remember his own family. Come on in, Kara Perry. Give him his letter. Is Goombari pulling his weight? The day you beat Bowser will be a fine time. Yes, indeedy. You're Goompa, correct? As a kid, I always thought this says another letter dully delivered, and I think I even said this in a video once. I did not know the word dually. Uh, funny, given that I play Splatoon. Now, what could this be? Koopa Coot? Eh, I have a bad feeling about this, so I'll read it later. <laughs> Relatable. It's probably the old Coot's usual backstabbing gossip. He really needs to get out more. What's the point of sending all these gossipy letters, huh? I know you're pretty busy, so thanks for delivering this. Why don't you take this as a token of my thanks? Ooh, it's shiny like a token. I see what you did there. Believe it or not, we're not going to go hunting for Chuck Quizmos this time around. Uh, his questions kind of spoil things that we haven't already done, so in case you haven't seen this game before, I got you. I'm thinking of you. In Koopa Village, we're gonna head on over to Colorado's place. Or no, we're not, I walked right past it. Uh, instead, I wanna go into this house because there was something we needed to do here anyway. Hot Hits Music Station, and then we wanna talk to the Koopa. Oh, this song always brings tears to my eyes. So moving. He has opinions on Chanterelle's music, something else I didn't know. I'm just learning new things about this quest all the time, even when I think it's over. Let's go on over to old Colorades. Oh, he still didn't come home, even though his, exp his expedition was done. Oh, Mario, you won't believe it. My husband! He's dead! He came home out of the blue the other day, and he's already left again. Off on some other fool's errand. That infuriating Koopa. I just can't believe him. Everyone's just upset with Colorado. His team thought the expedition was a disappointment. His wife isn't happy with him. I'm starting to get the feeling that maybe he ain't all he's cracked up to be. Speaking of cracked. Up in hammer! Brothers! Oh, don't tell me that. That is traumatic. <laughs> I have so many unique treasures now. What a lucky Koopa I am. Here, take this and know that I'm very grateful. Oh, you know to be so polite, young fella. Take this. Yeah, it's about the value of Luigi's autograph. We broke even on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your new favor is, the other day I went shopping at Koopa's shop in the village. But on the way home, I must have dropped my wallet on the road. Look for it, would you? My memory is kind of sketchy, but I think I remember talking to the guy who listens to the radio in front of his house. I'm sure my wallet was with me then, but I got home and realized it was gone. I'm hyperventilating. You must find that wallet. Promise me you'll help. 
I didn't think that guy could stand up. That's the most impressive thing about this entire exchange. I'm gonna shake these bushes. No, 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 I don't need to give him a leaf. Though uh, I kind of wonder with his eyesight. Uh, Chuck Wismo! Hey! I mean, if I run into him, I'm still gonna talk to him. I'm just not gonna hunt him. I don't need fishing bait. Not yet. Every RPG's gotta have a fishing minigame, though. So maybe one day I'll have a purpose. Uh, oh, wow, okay. When you want taste tea who loves cooking to make lemon candy, what do you have to give her besides a lemon? So you're telling us that she can combine items here. We want to give her a cake mix. A star piece. Correct! Here's your star piece. You've correctly answered 31 questions so far. Good luck next time. Well, well, so long, farewell, till we meet again. I think that one's fair. I've kind of alluded to the fact there is more to cooking when I've said, hey, this item doesn't cook anything yet, but it will later. You know. I could just not give you your wallet. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, no, I, I was just, I really cannot even have fun with this guy. Oh, thanks, Star Haven. You saved me again, Mario. I actually thought it was called Star Heaven as a kid, so maybe that was part of the reason why. You seem to have a nose for finding things. Oh, I got a big nose, I'll tell you what. Let's take this as the thanks. Oh, you had to be so polite, young fella. Take this one coin for his entire wallet. He pulled it out of it in front of us after we saw all of the cash inside. Well then, young feller, I don't usually ask favors, but if you find the time, I really have a craving for a tasty tonic. Most shops sell it. It's my all-time favorite drink. Really clears out the old ba beak, yes indeed. And they said the old back. Fetch me a cold one, would you? I'm parched over here. I'll have your word, young feller. He is lying through his beak. Because he doesn't have teeth anymore. <laughs> Most shops do not sell Tasty Tonic, and I remember that this bothered me so much as a kid because only one shop sells it. And it's all the way in South Toad Town. We finally found what loser actually likes. Hey, you thief! Oh, whoa, 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 uh, Oh, no. Okay, good. I actually thought you wouldn't sell me items because of the shy guy. I thought I... Well, I, I don't know if I thought I goofed. Uh, okay, so it's only in the storeroom. Can I... I can't deposit items with Cooper Coot! As I was saying, of course you're the only stupid loser who likes this crappy item. Born piranhas, you're like a psychic, Mario! A psychic who was told everything in advance? I guess that is like a TV psychic. This is exactly what I wanted. Is a gesture of my gratitude and generosity? Take this. Oh, you know to be so polite, young feller? Take this. Tasty Tonic sucks. You can get super soda so easily, and it's just a worse version of that item. What do you want? I've heard through the grapevine there's a beautiful fortune teller living on Shooting Star Summit. So, if you would... Get her in my bed. No. I want you to hike up there and ask her for an autograph. I'm too shy. Run along for me now. I could barely wait. You promise to hurry? Delivered with speedy spin speed or your money back. Ah, my my. Hello there, Mario. This spot is a little tight for fortune telling. If you want your fortune read, talk to me over the counter. Excuse me? You want my autograph? My, my mercy! Are you sure it's mine you want? You really do? Well, this is a first. What shall I do? Ah, of course. I don't mean to be a stick in the mud, but I'll give you the autograph on one condition. A small favor. I want you to visit my twin sister and fetch a crystal ball from her. She lives in a back alley in Dry Dry Outpost. Her name is Merlee. Well, Mario, would you? I am all too familiar with your inferior twin sister. I'm not doing this on purpose, I'm just lucky. Can't help it if I'm lucky. Who among the following lives in Forever Forest? Junior Troopa Oakley. Correct! Aw, his assistant clapping. <laughs> I love her name so much, how vanity, vanity, it's both vanity and also a reference to Vanna White because she's a game show assistant. My older sister, Mary Lovely, what's she want? Oh, I see, is that so? I bet I know. Oh, oh, oh. okay, okay. Please give this to Mer Lovely, with love, from her sis, Merle. A gorgeous crystal ball! Give it to Mer Lovely. I have opinions. After getting in the good graces of this duo of sisters, 
she will finally be convinced for the spell to actually help us in a good way. For once. I believe in the power of the spell. It's done so much good for me in the past. It just has to. Oh, mercy, thank you. I shall cherish this. And for you, here is my autograph as promised. It'll be valuable someday. This is what this is all about. He wants all these autographs from somewhat popular people, Luigi, so he can sell them one day in case they become famous later. We're gonna see Merlo as we've collected quite a lot of star pieces. I don't know how many we have. 20! Well, I can buy anything except Flower Saver. Hmm. Oh, what do I want indeed? There's a, there's a lot of good options here. <laughs> I gave this a lot of thought and I think I would be happiest with Flower Finder and then just save up the rest of them even though I could technically buy more. For three badge points, we get more flowers than usual after beating an enemy. Would prevent the need for so much FP recovery and would just allow us to get lots of stuff while consuming a lot of FP. In fact, right away, I'm gonna take off one of my FP pluses and put that on instead to see if it pays for itself. Don't tell me what you're gonna do with this. Jumpin' Jungle Fuzzies, you're peerless, Mario! My word, good gracious! Oh, oh my, what beautiful handwriting! Be still my heart! Uh, this, uh, this'll be the heart of my collection! You're a stand-up guy for doing his old Koopa so many favors! This time, I'll give you the special gift as thanks. Don't tell anybody, though, I got a reputation to keep. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young feller. Take this! Three star pieces! What now? I'm not quite as mobile as I was in my salad days. Is that a thing that British people say or just a thing they say in Xenoblade? And as a result, I am losing my touch with the outside world. A newspaper would be the best way to me to catch up, no? Would you mind reading the Toad Town news for me? You can tell me the news then. My eyes are so good, see? Don't spare the juicy gossip either. I'm all ears. Hurry up if you can. I'm losing touch here. Promise me you, you will. He's making a he's making us read for him. I mean, I guess I am a sort of a hypocrite if I criticize him for that. I use audiobooks because I don't like reading, and that's precisely the same thing. Toad Town News. Shy Guy Invasion! Robbing rogues run roughshod! A, ro a squad of scurious shy... A squad of scurious shy guys has has beset Toad Town, leaving our fair citizens in a daze. The thefts are too numerous to name here, but suffice it to say, residents are urged to guard their possessions. It's still unclear where the shy guys are hiding out. They'll post news as it breaks. Righteous message corner. How many Koopa Troopas have been beaten up by Mario? It's shameful, an anonymous Koopa. I wonder if Koopa Koop is trying to subtly give us a message about how he thinks we are the enemy of his kind. And these favors are all actually revenge. Creeping crazy days is your pure class, Mario. Ah, so that's what's going on in the world. I'm not sure I believe all those wild tales, but I suppose if you say so, it's nice to catch up on the current lingo. I've had a hard time understanding the youngsters lately. Now I'm hip. Shy guys are all just a lie from the damn dirty political party I don't like. Another one. I've been ailing a bit lately. I'd like to get a live stream. Oh no, I want my live stream. I must have one, I must. Please, please buy one for me. You should be able to find it in one of the select shops. It's kind of ironic how the undead sell you things that prevent you from dying, but I digress. Uh, yeah, I, um, no, I... Oh, I don't have my live stream on me. I'll go get it out. Pop. Oh, by the musty shroom. You're a peach, Mario. No, uh, she's up in the sky. I feel 10 times better and 20 years younger. Maybe I'll go jog after my nap. Oh, joy. He's not gonna die soon. Here, take this as thanks. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young feller. Take this. It really is true. The worst old people are just too mean to die. Hey, by the way, have you been to go into the playroom? I found this old thing since the last time I saw you. Have a look. A gold credit. They gave this to me at the playroom as I was such a frequent visitor. You can have it now. Good luck. Make money. <laughs> 
So we have that, and oh, you have another favor for us. After all the, I thought that was gonna be the last one. I do have the sudden craving for one of tasty, scrumptious, nutty cakes. Uh, secret ingredient, I couldn't see that because it scrolled by so fast I didn't press that. Memory serves, which it doesn't always, you could find it. The secret ingredient is a goom nut, which grows on certain trees. If memory serves, which it doesn't always, you can find them near someone's house. I don't know if that helps, but you still gotta find one for so tasty you can bake the cake. I'm getting pretty famished, actually. Would you hurry up, promise? This looks like this is gonna be where the favors end this time, as we can't make any progress in that as long as Tasty is, well, dead to us. I certainly don't have one, so that's gonna be it for now. We'll take that down the tubes into the casino. How fitting. I played at a casino once, I came out $5 ahead, and then I spent it on candy in the gift shop. It really is true, the house always wins. We can now play a brand new minigame, sort of. Hello, Mario. This is the floor for Smash Attack. Let me explain the rules to you, okay? When the game starts, blocks will appear along the ground. When you hit a block, something will come out of it. You'll clear the game if you hit 10 of these pe peach panels before time runs out. If you hit a block where there's a fuzzy or bob inside, it'll slow you down a bit. The time limit is 30 seconds. You need 10 coins to play. Would you like to try? Yes, indeedy. Get set to smash attack. So we can hit these blocks blindly, and maybe we'll find peach icons on our own, or we can watch the background, watch them pop out, get some hints. And hit that, so that one's got a bob on. Staying near the front is good because you have the widest field of view and thus can see more. Oh, oof. It's kind of funny. That one was a bob on. I got that one. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, that's nice. Uh, oh, got that one. Okay, we just got a blindly hit now, I think. Oh, wait. Yeah! Woohoo! Game over! Game cleared! The remaining time is 0 0.9, so, well, you get nine. What a bitch! What a bitch! I lost one coin on that! <laughs> I thought I was gonna get some kind of jackpot because it can be hard, but nope, I apparently don't deserve it. You gotta mash it to get away from these things. Uh, speedy spin is a good batch to have on for this minigame as it does increase your chances of success. Um, you can go side to side pretty quick with it, just not front to back. Oh God. Uh, okay, that one's one, that one's one. That one's one, that one's one, that one, that one, oh no, that one. Okay, over here I think. I know it's gambler's fallacy to think that it's over here, but, oh no! Ah, oh, I was doing so good! So this is actually the last of the mini games in Toad Town Playroom. There was a planned third one that was never finished. There's an unused room in the casino with a big circular monitor and what appears to be three buzzers. They're so big that I think you would have had to have ground pounded to hit them. Perhaps Chuck Quizmo was originally gonna let you gamble for star pieces here? That's purely a guess and not a serious bit of information. I can only support my theory with unused text that mentions selling badges, implying that badges and star pieces might have been tradable things that you could have exchanged for other things and gotten virtually unlimited copies of a lot of badges and stuff like that. This ended up becoming a thing in the sequel, which is why I think that. But again, it is purely a reach. I am pulling that from nowhere. I'm also here to tell you a fun bit of trivia about Toad Town Playroom. This is the reason why no one plays the 100% category speedrun of Paper Mario. It involves using Smash Attack in the Toad Town Playroom to get lots of coins to buy all the badges. Time saves only really occur when you are super lucky at gambling. It's terrible. It's always kind of sad whenever there's a good speed game that just has a 100% category that's completely unfun. Xenoblade 2 kind of falls into that category as well, where Ursula is the one thing that ruins the 100% category of that game. Yeah! 9.8 seconds, lay it on me, Johnny! Sorry, Johnny T. 98 coins, I think I came out slightly ahead there, and that's why I'm gonna don't play. I'm gonna leave. Got all I need, as soon as you are ahead early on in the day of the casino, you might as well go home. 
So, that's all of Koopa Coot's favors and all the things that we missed around the world that I wanted to go do. I think we're doing great. Next time on Paper Mario. Did you notice that with the spin jump, we can now explore deeper in Toad Town Tunnels? We're gonna do that, and then we're gonna have a climactic battle. See you guys then.